Vinoth asks, hi, is there an, any expert out there who can help me personally with a problem in Teams that I'm facing for a long time? I'm uploading documents and giving it limited access, but the members aren't able to view it. I tried doing everything to solve this, but the problem still persists. In fact, I'm confused of the options. I'll be grateful if someone extends their help to me and I'm ready to pay a professional fee. Okay, the bottle up for consultation. So they're, let me just get this straight. It says they're uploading documents, giving it limited access, and the members aren't able to view. Well, the fact they, they said limited access, the hair yep. just goes straight up on yep. my neck. Head. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. It's what too do they limited. Mean by that? It's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, it means well, that they've gone in to potentially remove everyone's permission. If they're doing limited access and they're using Teams to do it, Teams is inherently about giving permission to everyone that's inside that group, the security group, for permissions. So if they're saying limited permissions, one, are they internal or external? It's not saying because that can change things as well. Because if it's not enabled for external access, then they've created a team then trying to give some of the... Yeah. yeah. So there's all sorts of... I have more so questions, we're, as we say. We're, right. This is one of those classic, like, wish we could ask some follow-up questions here. So what, where are the, you know, what are the users? Are they internal or are they external? Um, uh, is it, what type of channel is it? I mean, what kind of library or do you have the content in? What kind of permissions? Then what did you go and modify or potentially break within yep. that? I mean, if you're trying to, because teams by nature is meant to be very flat. So I'm a member of a team. If it's a public or private channel, I have access to that. And then you can uh, you know, control access down to the document level. I mean, are you doing document level permissions? And breaking uh, if, inherited permissions, right. then it gets uh, messy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you, yeah. you can do that. You can create a SharePoint library, create very specific permissions to a sub, like if you want to be able to share the link in or share a library to put it in a tab within Teams to openly discuss it, but only the people that have permissions can access that. You can do that in a, in a library. Um, yeah, and and just you know, only those named resources can have access to it. So it really depends on who they are, where where they are, and what permissions that you've set. And the big thing Christian, to remember, yeah, as I was gonna say, the big thing to remember too for SharePoint is a lot of times when you're doing limited access, this used to be somewhat important, and with Teams, it's more important. But if they don't have access to the site at the site container level. Um, there's a lot of, especially there's a lot of new stuff in the modern interface that if you don't have access to the site level, you will not be able to do certain things. So mm -hmm. I can give you access to only one document in the entire site. The only way you can access that is if you have the direct link to that document. Otherwise, you will never be able to get to it. So if you have access to a document, but you don't have access to the site and you're trying to access it through Teams, um, you will not be able to get to that document because the document interfaces through the site interface. And so what's likely happening is he's giving them access to one document and then he's cutting off their access to the site and then they're not able to see it through the team. Or they're looking for it through the team when they should just look at it through the right. have have him resend the 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 link, the link. to the yeah. document. Yeah. And well, and it's also so a lot of times people do unique. So there's unique permissions and then there's link permissions. So there's you can have access to a document through a link. You can have access to a document through your login. And those are actually two separate things. And what will happen is the URL. There's like three separate URL parameters that will happen around permissions. And if you are sharing one link as a tab in Teams, but you've given access to a different link, that acts that link actually won't work, even though you think it's the same link. So, I mean, you literally have to actually look at the entire um, GUID for that entire link. Otherwise, it may actually be the wrong link that you're sharing anyways. So permissions, like you said, permissions with, I agree with you, Sherry. The minute you say limited access, like the yeah. hairs on my neck stand and up. You can even go higher than that. What's the organization set for with a whole tenant to go, can you even do external links? And you're trying to do a specific person thinking it's going out if it's an external party and it might all just be completely shut down. I said, I'm sending them a link. I've created a link thinking that they can get to it, but being yes. external and they then can't get in. So um, how, do they have to do authentication to come in? Are they coming in through the right authentication with the right email address? It could be, you know, is someone getting in and the other one's not? There's so many things around links that can get so complex fast. And until you know exact scenarios, 
we've got a lot we can really talk about on that one. <clears throat> and I just want to clarify something that you said, Christian, because we're talking at a kind of a high, higher level. But what I find all the time is people don't even realize, A, there's a SharePoint site behind the scenes that stores the documents in um, Teams. Mm -hmm. And B, you can have different libraries in that team. So there's one default one that feeds the channels, but there's actually, you can create in that SharePoint site a whole another library that has different permissions. And yeah. that might be the answer because by default, that main library, everybody has collaborative. And if you start messing with that, and the permissions around that, you're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna break your team. Yeah, that and, was kind of my point. Like, yeah, de depending on what he's done, yeah, to mm -hmm. the the standard site, which you should never mess with. Right. Um, go create <laughs> again if there's a need for if there's a sub team within that larger team, and you want to create a whole nother site. Um, maybe you don't even want to create a private channel for that those conversations. You just want to be able to share with three people as part of the larger team a library with one or more documents that are only for the four of you to discuss. That's right. fine. Knock yourself out and do that. But you know, it, it's when you start messing with the other standard yes. locations, that's where don't, it gets me nervous. Don't mess with that general. Don't mess with that general stuff. Don't mess with that first primary library. Let Teams own it. That is Teams's. We don't need to take it away. Yeah. Yeah, and you see that. And then they do the, you know, a shared channel or a private channel and then trying to work out and then go, I need the document under the private channel to go out now. And then you start to see a whole nother raft of stuff going on, not understanding what happens with the private channel. And then it's a whole nother SharePoint site with lockdown permissions because it is a... They don't talk to each other anymore. They don't talk to each other <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, we start to see all sorts of complexities going on. So I don't understand why this is a problem. I just email that document to those people. <laughs> <laughs> La, 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 la. I was times. joking, people. That's that, I'm just trying to be funny. Don't do that. No. <laughs> and when they can't find it, Christian, email it again. So it's right. at the top of their inbox. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Oh, can you can you now email again the more current version because the one that That's I have right. is from so six months That's right. ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's awesome. It's it's funny because it's true and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but is it the final one? And I've got another yeah. final. It's today's date. But did you have one for tomorrow's date? So we're all in final envy. <laughs> final, final, final. Final, final, final. 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 <laughs>